This is a quick look at Fountain, a new way to write screenplays using any text editor. Fountain isn't an app. There's nothing to buy or download or install. It's not even really a file format. All Fountain files are just plain text. What's special about Fountain is the syntax. And if you look at the syntax guide, you'll see that it makes a lot of sense. It's how you would write things anyway. Scene headers start with interior or exterior, INT or EXT. Character names are uppercase. The line following a character's name is dialogue. Parentheticals are wrapped in parentheses. Transitions are uppercase and end in TO colon. There's special ways you can force something to become a transition or a character name or a scene header, but in most cases, what you expect to happen just happens. Now, one of the great things about Fountain is that you can use it in almost any text editor at all. Let's take a look at TextEdit, which is on every Macintosh. If we open up TextEdit, here's a file. I changed the font to Courier and made it a little bit bigger, but this is just a plain text file. There's no magic here. This is just how it comes. Um, this first line, exterior Cypress Grove day, Fountain is going to read that as a scene header because it starts in EXT. Perseus, well, this character's name is all by itself. It's uppercase. Fountain knows that that's going to be a character's name. And the line below it will be dialogue. If we keep scrolling down, this line here should come out as a parenthetical. Now, when you're working on a Fountain file, you notice that almost everything stays over here on the left-hand margin. In Fountain, nothing has to be indented. You can if you want to. You can indent character names or transitions, but most writers sort of get used to everything staying over on the left-hand side. Margins come later on when you're bringing it into another application. Let's take a look at how we do that. First, let's save it. We'll give it a name. We want to save this as plain text. And here's the file. It ends with a txt. It's a text file. You could open it in any other text editor. Now, in the weeks ahead, we hope to have some specialized apps that can do amazing things with fountain files. But if you're using one of the main screenwriting apps, you don't have to wait. You can open this file right now. To open Final Draft, just drag the file on top of it. Final Draft asks you, do you want to import this as a script or a text file? You say a script file. And here's the document. So Fountain uh, isn't natively supported by Final Draft, but Final Draft does a pretty good job interpreting the text file anyway. It's got your scene um, headers right, your characters, your dialogue, even your parentheticals. Out of the box, Final Draft doesn't support things like page breaks or um, bold formatting italics, but it does a good job with the basic elements. The same is true for Movie Magic Screenwriter. Let's take a look at how you'd open that. Let's open up Screenwriter. In Screenwriter, go to File, Import, and select your file. It'll come up and ask you, how should I interpret this text? Import as a script format? Sure. And there you go. So this has been a quick look at how you can use Fountain to write screenplays in any text editor. For more information about Fountain, visit fountain.io. Thanks.